Sun Fall here for a running Fable guide. So the first thing you want to do here is you can see there's all these different servers. So pick which one of everyone suits you. And then the second thing we want to do is go on to the um, online mode. But for, before we do, I want to talk about the customization. So as you can see right now, I've got this outfit on. I should, and it's some kind of bug from my actual account, which is level 40. Uh, and as you can see, I'll scroll down here. And this is unlocked on level 40. The achievement for level 20, and then there's none for level 40, but you need to get to level 40 to unlock all outfits. So the first thing you want to do is create a private room. Um, this is just to show you if you're the one, because I'll talk about the Mubishti method after this, but this is more or less just to show you if you're the one that has to get into the traps, that getting first, even though you don't win by trap points, still gets you a win and goes towards your wins because you have to win 150 races. And this boosting method, if used correctly, can help towards both players getting that. So you want to tell your partner their, the room code. So that way they can get in. Each room code is um, a random combination. You can get doubles or even triples of the same symbol. I did that once. Otherwise it is just a random three combination. Once they enter that combination they will join and you'll see the portals open. Once they open the level you want to play is Verdant Plains. Verdant Plains is the level when you do boost for the level 40 achievements that you want to stick to. So as you can see the level starts there and you follow this track. It goes up and around here. And then at the end is where the trophy is. The the shortcut is which we're not going to use just yet. I don't think I use it anyway. I maybe I do, but sometimes on maps you can see the cones, as you can see right here. The uh, the blue egg gives you speed and stays. Uh, think of it like a speed boost, but it's it stay it respawns. So if you haven't placed them r well enough and you need more energy, you can actually just sit on one and then continue on when it refills you completely. The pink egg. It works differently. So the pink egg can only be collected once. Once it's collected it won't respawn. I like to place them in clumps so that way I can collect a whole lot of them. And what happens is if you run out of energy you automatically consume them. Think of them like a consumable energy. That's why you can only pick them up once. But this is what the person will be doing um, if they're the one getting killed by the traps. With the these traps you just have to jump up to hit the button and that will break them. With the other trap three of them will kill you. Then there's a bomb to my right here. This bomb is an instant kill. And then there is the spider webs. If you can get lucky you can try and catch yourself in them so that it's uh, a multi kind of thing. I was trying to do that but my controller wasn't playing ball as well so I was unfortunate that I was unable to show you but it can happen if your partner has lined them up nicely and you are lucky enough you can hit multiple ones at the same time. They don't take health but these clouds do. The clouds you have to jump up 
and the clouds only the bunny rabbit can get. If you play as the tortoise or the turtle, you cannot get the clouds, unfortunately. That's why I prefer to play as the rabbit and the partner to play as the rabbit as well. The other trap which we do not use, but it's I'm going to show you in case you want to use it, and I'll explain why we don't use it, is the um, cyclone, I guess, whirlpool, whirlpool, we'll call it whirlpool. The, you got to jump directly in them, and the reason I hate them is because if you miss and you land in the water, you die anyway. But then you've got to re-jump in there to get the whirlpool for your partner so he gets the points. It's just not worth it. We stick to the black cloud and all the other traps and we don't use the whirlpools at all but for this instance where I'm just explaining things and showing you we are going to use it. So this um, is where I will show later because for some reason it wasn't working. I was trying to find the key on this map. I know exactly where it is, um, but I figured out what went wrong. For some reason this game loaded my other account save even though I was on this account, but it didn't load it per se. It's just the server loaded what it, it had already done if that makes sense. So it wasn't like a, anything you could take advantage of or anything which is great because you don't want that. <laughs> I had to end up deleting the reserve space in order to get the keys to show up for these bots as I had previously collected the keys with my other account. So right here as you can see Kaz has the trap points I do not so I collect the trophy to get first place and even though Cass would win by trap points and null and void your w win you still get first place so whoever is the one placing the traps always goes second and the one who is going into the traps always gets first that way you both get first so this is the boosting method it's an online only two player method it can be more players if you want I never tested with more players I only ever tested with two but basically you can't be the host if you want to use this method so here I am putting in the code that I'm given by my partner which is two checkered flags and a bush and then you just have to wait it does take a long time some sometimes to connect So here I am joining my partner and see as you can see there's no portals because I'm second player I can't see the portals the first player has to go into them. This is using a glitch that I like to call the bank glitch because you will be banking points. I recommend banking at least 500 to 1000 and then switching as that's what we did when we boosted but the choice is yours. So you can zoom in and place traps like this, but I find it very difficult to do that. But you want to try and keep the traps from going on the sides. You want to place them at the start so that way your player can get to them straight away, your partner. But you also want to place them so that they're in close proximity so that they don't get caught on any objects. The carrot is just health, so you don't need to place that ever. And then when you have about 30-40 seconds left, that's when you can place the blue eggs around. You want to space them apart, you don't need them to be too close, because they just refill your energy. And then you can place the pink eggs in a clump, because you can pick them all up, and then continue on and they will consume energy as you need it. When doing this boosting method I wouldn't recommend using the shortcut but I am going to use the shortcut just to show you where the shortcut is. I would recommend doing a separate playthrough um, which I do show of the shortcuts and keys together and then doing the boosting because it forfeits your win 
but as you can see here I'm looking at the points going up these trap points you may as well call XP points and this is the fastest method to get XP to level up because you get points for trap points and points for winning and the points for winning you only can earn 30 if you win first every race whereas this method allows you to get about 42, 48 trap points plus the 8 from winning which gives you about 50, 52 ish points So the easiest way to get onto this onto this um ignore what I'm doing here. This is something else I was trying to do, but this was when for some reason it registered we had the keys. So the easiest way to get the um, into the shortcut is by flying over to this tree here, landing on it, then jumping and flying, and then going over here. As you can see, there's a barrier here. You've got to go in between the water right here and jump over. Once you're here, you can grab your eggs that you placed, and then you can head off towards the finish line. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend it while boosting, I just wanted to show you guys this shortcut early. I still have to wait for my partner because as you can see I have 46 trap points, so my partner needs to win because I will win by trap points. This will also get you the trap point achievements, there's one for getting 50 trap points in a round, that will require you to use the whirlpools. But as you can see that got you first place but get disqualified for using the shortcut. There's a shortcut in every level and I will be showing that um, later on with all the keys you need all the secret keys not for an achievement unlike the shortcuts but for um, the treasure chest that you see at the feet of the level for the treasure chest you have to get 30 trap points for each level which you'll get by doing the boosting method if you do it once on each level for each of you and then stick to verdant for the rest um, you've also got to beat the times which you'll get because they're achievements anyway and then the keys and that will unlock those items for you but as you can see here this is how fast you can do it I still have 60 seconds left and now I can place the eggs once you get the hang of it you won't need to take too long to place everything if you think another level is easier for you to use then by all means but I still will recommend the first level to actually do the boosting. This glitch that we will be doing after this level requires your partner to be fast. I don't know about if it's what causes it. I am unsure about that because me and my partner we have the same internet literally in the same house and we were still able to do it so I don't think it's a lag issue. I just think it's a server related thing but basically 
when your partner and you finish this level the second time, your partner needs to immediately start the next level without asking if you're in the level or not. Upon doing that, you will get the winning screen and this is very important when you get the winning screen do not touch anything if you do you will soft lock the game so you neither your partner can win the game and when you do hit the trophy you, it won't continue it just just stays on that screen so you need to make sure that when you get the winning screen on the second after you've played the second map that you do not touch anything and let it load in normally. This will give you two three player uh, match wins which is also an achievement for winning I think it's 30 of those so you can by swapping off with your partner you can get those relatively quickly because you'll be earning two for every three you play. As I said, ignore what I'm doing here. I'm trying to figure out why the key isn't spawning. We thought maybe it was because we hadn't played the map, but it just would not spawn until I deleted the reserved data later on. As you want to make sure you leave eggs for your partner as well because whatever you collect when it comes to the pink ones they cannot and you also want to try and time your blue pickups so that they can pick them up as well otherwise they have to wait for them to spawn and it takes finishing the level longer than it should. As you can see I'm currently on 92 trap points with a total score of 100 thanks to the 8 points. So now this gives me 108. And we're at round 2 of 3 as you can see. And my partner will start the level and I will get a victory screen. As you can see right here. And this is where the glitch is. So do not touch it. Do not hit replay. Do not hit quit. Just leave it. As you can see it says I've won one match of 3 rounds when I actually haven't finished the 3 rounds. And right here is where it loaded me in. As you can see, you've got a little less time when it loads you in, but I can now place the traps. And we're on round three of three, and we've banked round one and two's points on top of earning those points again, plus what we're gonna earn this round. And this is why I like to call it the bank glitch, because we've just banked those XP points, which you will see me you level up pretty fast later because I'm low level. Those points um, will get me to level 5 without me having to actually do more of this. And that was just to show you how to do the glitch that me and my other half discovered while we were playing this game. And I figured I would share it with everyone because it is a fast method to boost to level 40. This is where we're placing the traps so that way my partner can get the traps as quickly as possible. And then my job is just basically to get to the trophy but not hit it and wait for my partner. It does take about two minutes a game. As I said, this is a non-host only glitch. And I'm still trying to work out why the key isn't spawned. So like I said, ignore that. Uh, I fix it later.
If your partner picks the turtle, rather than being an orange dot on the map, they will be a green dot on the map. But again, I do not recommend the turtle. The turtle cannot fly, the turtle can only surf in the water, and when you run out of energy, the turtle still will drown. As you can see here, we have a total of 154 points, which will lead to about 164, give or take, when we get the 8 points for the second place. And that is on top of what we already banked from the first win we got due to the glitch. So that is close to 300 points banked. So now we hit replay, you don't want to hit quit. And as you can see here, we have 433% ready for the next level. And that means that we've already unlocked the next level, but because of the way the leveling system doesn't do works, we can't go to the next level straight away. Hence why I refer to it as banked points. As you can see here, this is the hat we unlocked. You'll unlock new items as you go. And now my partner and I am going to show you the banked points in action. This is where we won't place any traps and we're just going to score 30 points for winning. 30 points isn't enough to get you to the next level and you will see my bank points go down and that is the glitch. That's why I said you want to bank till about 500, 1000 and swap because you'll still be getting first. Your banked points will go down while your partner's goes up. But your level goes up while your partner is grinding out their levels. And it, that's why it's a very effective two-player boosting method. I never attempted it with more players, but I'm sure it could be efficient with more players. Because I did notice that if you kept... Um, if you were close by, uh, the traps would disappear. But if you were far away the traps wouldn't despawn. So if you were to place them at the end, send one person, they knock out all the traps and you make sure you're far away from them, then you could send the next person, they could get caught in the same traps and you could probably milk more points. But as a two player method, this I still think is very efficient. Right now I'm going to show you how you set up for the speed achievements. And if you're using the two player method, it is best to use your partner's because they get the same amount of traps and eggs you do that gives you double the eggs to place and so if you coordinate with your partner and send the person that can memorize the level you can place the eggs in a way that you can just continuously run through the level and beat the time limit that is required see as you can see here I know exactly where to jump to get to the shortcut this lets me skip half the level and thus save even more time. With my partner's help of placing the eggs, I'm able to cut through. And beat the time limit. I had to beat a minute and I got there in 48 seconds using the shortcut. The shortcut is allowed to be used but is not always effective to use if that makes sense. Sometimes it's just easier to run through. Now the interesting fact about this and I'm not sure if your partner has to touch the trophy or not but my partner actually got the achievement as well so I think it counts for both people if one person does it but I'm not 100% if you need to get the trophy or not. So if your partner can hit the trophy and you've gotten the time limit, you can. I think you can save more time because then you will get that for them. I noticed there wasn't any videos or guides on this game um, when I was playing it 
and when I completed it so I thought I would write down my notes and record this guide to help everyone because there was no info on where any of the keys were where any of the shortcuts were or this glitch that I discovered You can spread out the pink eggs, but I prefer to pile them up because it gives you more chance to grab more when there's not many blue around. I am holding RT to run, but I'm sure you guys know the con that control. It is LT to fly as well, I figured I would mention that now. I will put that in the description though, but they're pretty simple. It's also the D-pad to taunt if you want to taunt for some fun while you're waiting for your partner, I guess. I didn't find taunting too handy. And yes, I'm still trying to work out why the key isn't spawning yet. <laughs> I hadn't given up hope that it might spawn. Me and my partner fix it later. But we both were trying to get it while we were recording this bit to spawn. It is It literally spawns under that um, bridge. As you can imagine, you've seen me go to it like 10 times now. So right here, I'm just waiting for my partner. You have about 20 seconds. Oh, there you go. You have about 25 seconds um, once hitting the trophy for your partner to hit it. So it's a good amount of time for them to hit the trophy. I just like to make sure I'm waiting for my partner. As you can see here, the glitch doesn't activate because we're not doing placing all the traps. I'm pretty certain the glitch activates because of the amount of traps that your partner hits. Because as you can see, the level loaded, no problem. We didn't get the extra thing, which is perfect because it shows you the banked point glitch anyway. I've only earned 20 points, and at this level I will earn 30. And that's not enough to level up, but you will see me level up with more XP ready for the next level as well. See, my partner is making sure that I get ahead a little bit because of the respawn time of the eggs. So that way they're not behind me and then run out of eggs because I've collected the an egg they needed. This game, when you are boosting it, make sure you do communicate with your partner. Because you need to remember who's going first and who's going second. You can hold in the run button and the fly button. It eats up a lot more energy though, as you just saw me do. But it can be very quick to get through areas. As you can see my partner just stopped for me and I got first thanks to them stopping. This is why communication is important. So 
So here I am with 30 points. And when I hit replay, as you can see, I automatically got a new level with 293% ready for the next level. Which is the banked points. So this is the hidden keys and shortcuts. So now that you've seen the glitch, we're going to show you where all the hidden keys and shortcuts for every level is. This includes the one that I kept trying to get to spawn during the initial boosting. As you can see, we created a new lobby. <laughs> Hence why the new room code, because we had to clear the um, data, the reserve space data. There is no save data, which was odd, so it must all be linked to a server. So again, you want to communicate with your partner and place the eggs so that they can get through and that you can get through. As you can see, a normal and hidden thing, this is what hidden does. It places down hidden objects. I place down carrots so that way it wouldn't damage either of us. Just to show you how useless hidden is. Hidden actually reduces the amount of points you get from a trap as well. So if I was to drop a trap that gets two points and hide it in a bush, I would get one point. So do not use the hidden feature. If you are boosting, it is useless, unfortunately. So we want to make our way this way to the bridge that I'm sure you're well aware of by now. And it's a tricky key to get if you are the rabbit. It'd probably be easier if you were the tortoise, but I prefer to get it as the rabbit. It just requires you to time it just right with your LT, and you can get under the bridge and collect it like so. With the keys, sometimes when me and my partner were collecting them, they needed to collect them, and other times they did not. So if your partner hears the key sound, it means it collected for them. If they do not hear the key sound, it means that you have to do another run of the level, and then, it, that, then they need to collect it themselves. You cannot both collect the key on the same level, but it can glitch and give your partner the key, if that makes sense, when you collect it. Hopefully I've explained that in a nice explain uh, nice explanation. But that is the key for that level. I've already shown you the shortcut, so I figured that one I didn't need to show you the shortcut. But for the rest of them it will be shortcut and key. We've got our next level, Frozen Heights. This one, um, Half the level is cut off, so you're unable to place anything in that section of the map. The key itself is in a location where you can't place any eggs, so just focus on placing the eggs more towards where the shortcut will be. So if you follow where I'm placing them, The shortcut will be right here, as you can see the cones. You can't always see the cones on the map, but you want to place one here once you have placed them where I have placed them. And then play, play, play a bunch of pink ones here. Place a bunch of pink ones here, and then you can scroll down here, and as you can see there is no map n near the trophy, so we are unfortunately not able to place any there. The um, egg itself will be on one of the ice, and I will show you which one. All you have to do is follow where I'm going. Make sure to collect the blue eggs so you have the energy, but you want to jump over here, jump over to this ice here, and then jump up to this one here. You will see the key on the left here. We can die and collect the key. That is not a problem. You would spawn back at the start. Sometimes you might spawn in a different spot, but either way, we want to make our way to the um, shortcut now. So through this tree area here, 
you gotta jump on this icicle right here and then jump over and there is the shortcut go through this section here and we've just taken the shortcut collect all the eggs And then the trophy is right here. That will get you the disqualified from Frozen Heights shortcut achievement. And you will get that for all the levels once we get through them all. So the next level we have is Muggy Jungle. Muggy Jungle shortcut is an interesting one. So if you play this in single player and you're fast enough, you can verse one AI and you can actually do this without a partner. Although I still wouldn't recommend it because the game's AI system, even if you start a match with the AI, when you load back in for the next round, it will start loading AI if you can't get to the map quick enough. So you could end up with tons of AI. It's just easier as a two-player online over having multiple AI in my opinion. So you want to place your blue eggs so you can run through them. The key will be in there and the shortcut if you can see the cone I will point it out it's right here if you can see that. To get to the cone is actually quite interesting. It took me a little while to work it out myself. So right here you want to climb up here and then through here as you can see the two cones this is the shortcut now you got to be careful here because you can either fall in water fall through the map you gotta try and jump it so that you don't land on it so the key is actually located up here I'm not going to collect it yet though because we're going backwards I want to show you forwards first so ignore it right now if you don't take the shortcut and you're coming from the other way, this is what you'll see. You'll turn around, you'll see that little waterfall and the ramp. You want to jump up onto the ramp here and then collect the key. Now that we've done that, we can finish the level. I want to show this little thing. See how it looked like you couldn't go through there, but you can. This is one of those levels where you can actually fall outside the map. And because of where the shortcut is, it's actually one of the easiest levels to get the speed on. Right now I was deciding to wait for my partner or not, but I decided to finish the level instead. And lo and behold, without meaning to, I actually beat the speed limit. As you can see here, quick trip through Muggy. 1 minute 25, I did it in 117, and that was with showing you guys where the key is. So there is more than enough time for when you do that one at least, with the shortcut. I didn't see the point in showing you all the levels being beaten with the speed, because you're not going to be able to place them exactly where we both place them. Like I said, it requires communication but as you can see here we just got another level from the banked points and now we're on to moon, moonlit moonlit woods is the next level so this key is a very interesting one you actually have to enter it from an area that you're not supposed to enter it from because the area you're supposed to enter it from is blocked off I tried numerous times to get it from the the actual way and I could not so I figured out a, another way to get it. 
the shortcut is um, right near the key as well so hopefully you don't miss it I do slow down and take my time though just to make sure you guys do not miss it this is one of the longer levels and one of the shorter uh, time trials it actually took me I think three or four attempts to get this one down pat because uh, the amount of places you can place an egg and if it's not a helpful one then it's not going to do you any good so it's one of those levels that really requires good communication between you and your partner on where to place the eggs the key is located in here so we have to go behind it to get it as you're about to see So you want to jump about here and then fly and this will give you the height to land up near it as you can see it is right here and this little piece of wood here we fall through here but if I turn around as you can see it's blocked off so unfortunately that's how you have to collect the key but at least you can still collect it the shortcut is over here just across from the key as you can see and it's not a very long shortcut, it's quite a small little shortcut. <laughs> so now we just need to finish the level and we have gotten both the key and the shortcut done. with that this level is now done the time to beat I think is 59 seconds so even showing you the key I did pretty well on time so it is uh, possible to get the time limit just know that it's just a little tight so it can be a little bit frustrating it's the only one I thought I'd mention because it took me the longest and the most attempts to do So now we're on to Chilly Dreams. This is another long-ish level. But this is also one where you can see the cones on the map which I will show you in a minute so around here is where the key will spawn on these ice parts and right here is where the shortcut is So right where those two dog statues are, if you head left you can actually climb up and then run across the bridge you're about to see me run across and that will save you some time when you're doing your speed run.
If you do want videos on the speedrun, me running through the levels speedrun style, uh, just make a couple of comments, and if I get enough comments, I'll make a guide. As you can see here, taking the shortcut and landing in water put me back at the bridge before the shortcut, which was actually my plan, because that still counts as taking the shortcut, and I could lead you to where the key was, which is right here. Now I can collect the pink eggs, and with any blue eggs that my partner has placed, I can make it to the exit without having to worry about energy. <laughs> and that is the shortcut in Chili Dreams and the key. So now we have the Golden Wilds. Now the Golden Wilds is the only one with the shortcut that I actually couldn't figure out how to do the entrance. I'm assuming you probably need to be the turtle, which I refuse to be. Um, so the way to the entrance is actually backwards because I could not, there's an invisible wall so I could not climb over the um, tree trunk. There's a little tiny hole so I could not fit through that. So the only way to activate it was to go backwards through it. And I will show you where, as I always do, the cone is. The firstly, the key is here, on this little beachy area, and then the shortcut is here, on this where this one cone is. It is the only one that you will have to basically not try and... basically you can't use, so it's the only one that you can't... that you have to uh, do the speed run, and know that for a certain... The shortcut is not going to help. <laughs> While I'm doing this race, I will mention that when you get to the unlock all achievements, you need to click on the trophy that was near the uh, servers. That is the way it unlocked for me until I, until, uh, it didn't unlock once I got my actual last achievement. I had to click on that, which shows your experience level. And right here is where you fall down. As you see, the key is right there. And then we go this way. This was the only way I could figure out to get the shortcut to work. But you need to fly up here, and push yourself up, then land, then jump again, fly up here, then land, then jump again, fly here, and you'll get onto the bridge. Follow the bridge, and then jump here, and fly up, onto the top of the rocks, and then you should be able to follow the rocks to the cone and once you hit the cone go past it and then once you've gone past it you can walk backwards like I am and follow this route out you can actually go on top of the log and then down this way to the trophy and this will get you classed as a cheater for taking the shortcut and this will get you the last shortcut achievement for being disqualified in Golden Wilds. A little bit of a uh, roundabout way to do it, but we did it.
and as you can see I hit level 5 and I still have 107% for the next level. Level 5 is also an achievement. It goes all the way up to level 20, but what I wanted to show here, you here is the skins for each level as you need the key. And as you can see each key is now ticked off. The time limit on Verdant Plains isn't ticked off and I'd say that's because we deleted the um, the data, so just be aware that's a last measure kind of thing because it what you will lose and have to redo things otherwise. But we couldn't get the keys to spawn for ourselves, and that's why we did that. 